Well, we would have made a lot of progress in the past three and a half years. We put a lot of money to work on resiliency and, and preventative stuff, but we need to take a quantum leap as a state and as a country. We have an infrastructure that is built for a different reality than what we're facing. Hopefully, the biggest asset you're trying to protect is life. Can you update us on the lives of the lost? Yeah, thank you for asking. Nothing new from the total earlier is still with the heaviest of hearts. 25 lives lost and at least six people missing. I don't, I don't want to speculate on the folks who are missing, but the, the, the more time on the clock, the less good that is in that respect. So keep them in your prayers. Well, I guess, you know, what has stopped this project from happening? Was it, was it only finances no, or was a, it also, you know, environmental issues? I, 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 like a that? whole host of reasons, and maybe John afterward may could give you a, a little bit more of a play by play. But enough, uh, enough already. The state is raising its hand unequivocally. Let's turn the page and get this thing going. Yeah. Yeah, again, it, it, I think that's largely correct. We all got to get at the table. The state is raising its hand as the leader of that convening. Uh, yeah. Let's let's step on last get get this thing off the ground. What would you say is the biggest takeaway or lesson learned, if anything, from this one? Rain is a central element in any storm these days has become a much bigger element of the storm. Now that's not always going to be the case. Neither of the last two storms were big wind storms, this one more than the last one, but in Henri and in Ida certainly, rain was the, the main, I'm, I'm, I'm excluding the tornado touchdowns in the south, but up here, I think we just have to accept that that's going to be the case. And when we put a flood warning out or a flash flood warning, we have to find ways uh, to make that as graphic for people to take that as seriously as they need to. I mentioned this just several times. We put tornado warnings out, of, not a watch, but a warning. When you get a warning, that means it's coming. Uh, in the south, where I visited yesterday, everybody, even if their house didn't get there, everybody went immediately to their basement. And every one of them, as we stand here today, is alive, including people whose houses were destroyed. 25, I think, 23 or 4 of the 25, I think it was a heart attack, God forbid, in there. It was due to water, it was due to flooding. People who felt they could stay in their house, people who felt they could get in their car. And it, admittedly, the, this, the severity of this went up. In a, in a we were talking about this. The severity flipped up overnight. I mean, that's yeah, overnight, yeah. over 30 minutes. Absolutely. Uh, so that's the one big. Don't when we, when we collectively say and graphically that flooding is coming, we have to find a way to make sure everybody says, okay, I got it. And they do a similar thing that they would do if they got a tornado. Thank you all so much. Thank you.